Canadians are nice people. Black people are great at basketball. Everyone always leaves nice comments on my YouTube channel. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I was just making sweeping statements while I was sweeping the floor. Do you know what that means? I was making sweeping statements while I was sweeping the floor. What is a sweeping statement? Do you know? Have you ever heard that term before? Sweeping statement? Well, the word sweeping means this, right? But it also has another meaning. Okay, you might have read that word in the news. If you read English news, like BBC News, you've probably seen that word, sweeping. Okay, like a sweeping statement. So I was making sweeping statements. What did I say? I said, Canadians are nice people. Is that true? Well, the truth is that there are good Canadians and bad Canadians. There are lots of Canadians who are not friendly people. They're not nice, right? So if I say Canadians are nice people, that's a pretty, uh, a pretty broad statement. That's a generalization, right? You know what the word generalization means? It means like it's, it's too non-specific, right? The opposite of, of a generalization is specific, right? Specific. General, specific. Those are opposites. If something is general, that means it's big. If it's specific, that means it's, uh, it's sort of small. It's got a very special meaning, right? So that's what sweeping means. Sweeping, a sweeping statement is a generalization. It's a broad statement, a wide ranging statement. Okay, what else did I say? I said, black people are good at basketball. Is that true? Well, the truth is that there are millions of black people who don't even know how to play basketball, right? So again, that's a, that's a sweeping statement. Or I said, uh, everyone always leaves nice comments on my YouTube channel, right? Now that's true most of the time, but sometimes some comments are not nice, right? So if I say all the comments are nice, well, that's a generalization. That's a sweeping statement. Okay, so that's what the word sweeping can mean. Now, we can use the word sweeping with other words as well, like uh, the word powers, sweeping powers. Do you know what that means? If someone has sweeping powers, that means they have really broad powers. Uh, maybe you saw on the news recently, not that long ago, I think it was it was in 2018 that President Xi in China, right, the leader of China, President Xi, he got uh, sweeping powers. He got new powers, right? The people, like the, the Communist Party in China, gave him more power. And now he might be the leader of China for the rest of his life, right? He, he is, he's really powerful in China. Uh, or if you look at Russia, right, uh, President Putin. Right? President Putin has a lot of powers, right? He has sweeping powers. Remember, he was the, uh, he was the president for a long time, and then there was a new guy, Medvedev, right? And then uh, the West said, actually, Putin is still running the country. He's still running the country, and then they changed the law to allow Putin to be the leader of Russia forever, right? So Putin might be the leader of Russia for a long time, right? Um, so he has sweeping powers. He can do whatever he wants in Russia. President Xi can do whatever he wants in China. Now, in the US, right, Donald Trump doesn't really have sweeping powers. He doesn't really have that many powers, right? Right now, he's trying to build a wall, right, on the Mexican border, but he can't really do it. He's, he's having a lot of problems because there's so much opposition to him in his own government, 
right? So he, he can't do anything because everybody is against him. But let's say the American people decided we want President Trump to have more power. We want him to be able to do anything he wants forever. Then we could say President Trump has sweeping powers. He can do whatever he wants, right? Without facing opposition. Okay, so, so that's what the word sweeping, if, if, if you hear the term sweeping statement, sweeping statement means a broad, wide ranging statement or sweeping powers. Here's another example of sweeping powers. Um, in Canada, the police cannot go into anybody's house if they feel like it. If the police want to go and search someone's house for like drugs or other bad things, then the police need to get a warrant. A warrant. A warrant is, a, is like a piece of paper giving them permission to go into someone's house. Okay, so the police need to go to the court and get permission from the judge to go into someone's house. They can't just go into anybody's house if they feel like it. But let's, let's imagine that the law would change to allow Canadian police officers to go into the homes of Canadians whenever they wanted. Then we could say the police have been given new sweeping powers. They can do whatever they want. Okay, hopefully that doesn't happen because I don't want a policeman just to come into my house or anybody's house in Canada, right? But that's an example of, of the term sweeping powers, okay? So now you know what that word means. If you see it on the news somewhere, I'm sure you'll see it. If you read BBC News or CNN or any English news uh, website, you'll see that word. I guarantee you. Sweeping. Sweeping, okay? So, I'm just going to keep sweeping my floor here and maybe I'll keep making some sweeping statements. Hey, I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I'm having a great day. I'm going to eat some breakfast here and then uh, and then I'm going to work on my next book on idioms, English idioms. I'm excited for that. I'll let you guys know when that book is ready. And uh, like I said, hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care. Mm -hmm.